Hello everyone. This is Google Mama or, or Eva at Highland Homestead. And today I wanted to talk to you about winter here. And as you all know, here in Western New York, or if you don't know, I will enlighten you today. We get a lot of snow. So here on the homestead for our gardening series, I want to focus today on the frost line, the depth of your frost line here in Western New York. Everywhere around and in the United States, there is a frost level. And your frost level varies from area to area. That means the depth of your frost line goes from inches to feet, and more feet and on down as it gets colder during the winter time here. Very recently, we have had a cold spell. Our frost line here at the homestead can average between 32 to 48 inches. Now, in saying that, it can vary from year to year. And I will talk about why this is important later in the video here. Our garden, we are actually at a zone five, but we're on the border of a zone five, zone four. Because of our sea level that we're at, we are in the hills of Western New York, which we call ski country. As a matter of fact, somebody asked us about the elevation here on our live the other day, and we didn't know the actual elevation level. Our actual elevation level here is 2,032 feet above sea level. So, for various reasons, each year that we garden is different here. The depth of the frost line is huge here because we have to get our water systems and the source of our water underneath that frost level so our water doesn't freeze during the winter time. And that's really important here. And as we go along in our gardening series, we'll talk more about why the snow is so important and focusing on your environment along with your gardening skills and how we appreciate and what we need to know to help us with our gardens to make our gardens better. So the depth of the frost line varies from year to year here. As a story was told to me just recently by my neighbor, he said back in, I wanna say the 70s, they had a frost line of five feet or more because he had to actually dig a line for water during the winter time. And it was up to more than five feet of, fro of a depth of the frost line. The frost line consists of where the water freezes as it goes down into the ground your water will freeze at a consistent level with the weather 
our weather here has been very cold. So our frost line is going to go down and the depth of the frost line will go down. With each week, we go into minus and freezing cold temperatures here. The reason I am telling you this <clears throat> is because we have a frost date for our gardens in the fall to where we can grow up to that frost date. So for here, it's end of October and we're going into the spring season here. So our spring frost out is end of May, the 15th of May to the end of May. When I start planting my seeds, it's basically the end of May on Memorial Day weekend is when I start looking at the garden to plant seeds and how warm the soil is. And that's for another video. The importance of the frost depth will become very clear as we progress into the season of our growing season. As I explain more to you about where we live and how we live here, you, we cannot plant seeds right now. The frost depth is too, is too much. And the reasons I don't plant my seeds right now inside is because there's no way to plant them outside because it's too far away. Your seeds should be planted six to eight weeks beforehand. When people build around here, you have to consider the frost line or the depth of the frost. So when it comes to our frost depth and the average depth of where you live, check it out because everywhere around in the United States, it's completely different and we need to know what our levels are and how they help with our garden as the garden season goes on. So thank you for watching today and I'm going to leave some links down in the description below as to where you can find your frost up. And the interesting thing about it is now you know more about our area. What is your frost up than your area? I'd like to know. Check it out. Thanks for watching today. This is Go Go Mama Eva from Highland Homestead. And we'll talk to you soon. Toodles.